let's go through what we have learned so far in this session. <clears throat> in this session, we go over chapter five methods of a textbook. We also go over the information we have learned so far in this course. For looping structure, for the, I'm sorry, for the method, we have an introduction to methods. We discussed how to pass value, pass arguments to method, and we discussed three different types of variables, the colors variable, the parameters, and the local variables inside the method. Then we discussed how to return a value from a method and the problem solving with methods. Also, we covered how to write a good documentation for your Java methods. We also perform a module review of uh, the knowledge we learned so far. The key takeaway are two things. One, you need to create, you need to be able to create a program, simple program inside Eclipse and take a screenshot. And two, you will need to learn those programming patterns so that you can utilize them in your uh, program. Let's take a look at the uh, assignment. There are five questions to assignment. Actually, it's only four. One of them is taking a screenshot. So the first question is conversion. You will write a program that asks a user to enter a number in meters. The program will then present four options. These four options, by choosing one, you will conduct the perform the con conversion from meter to kilometer or inches or feet. So once you enter the number of, here's an example. You first enter a distance in meters, like say 500. Then the program asks you, you to choose from four of them. Of course, if you choose four, you will quit the program. But if you choose any others, if you choose one, it will give you a conversion. Five meter, 500 meters is this much kilometers. Then you choose to convert to feet by typing three, and it will give you a choice, uh, the conversion to feet, so on and so forth. So it requires you, we require you to use a method for this, pro, for this task. You need to create a double method that will accept the number, uh, number of meters and convert the meter to kilometers and return the result. Then once the result is returned, you will print it out. So similarly, you will create a method to convert the meters to inches and the feet. Each of them will return a double and your program will print out the conversion result. The second question is a is prime method. A prime method, a prime number is a number that evenly is divisible only by itself and one, like five or seven. The number six is not prime because it's divisible by other integers that is other than one and itself. So you need to write a method named is prime, which takes the integer as an argument and return true if it's a prime. So what you need to do is you get a argument. Um, if you, you get argument, let's say seven, and then you start from two, two, three, four, five, from two all the way to seven. And uh, for each number, you will try to use seven divided by that number. If it's dividable, then it's not a prime, right? Uh, I think I made a mistake before. It should be from two to the number one less than the, in, the, the, the input. If you input a seven, then you should go from two to six, two, three, four, five, six. If none of them, um, if seven can, is not dividable, even dividable by any of these from two to six, then seven is a prime, right? So you need to write a loop inside the method. Remember, you need to write a method and this method you need to include a loop for this testing. 
and you can use the percent operator, which is the modulus. It will divide one number by another and returns the remainder. If the remainder is zero, then number one is evenly dividable by number two. Question number three is to use the is prime method you created in before and uh, test all from one to 100, see how many prime number are in this list and print them out into a file. And question number four is to attach the file you generated in question three. And finally, there's a relatively larger one, a slot machine simulation. You will create a program that simulates a slot machine, which will ask a user to enter the amount of money. And uh, randomly select a word from the following. And to select a word, you can use the random number generator we discussed before. And uh, if none of the randomly select words match, the program will inform the user he has won zero dollars. If two of the words match, the program will inform the user that he won two times. And the three of the words match, then they won three times the amount entered. Okay. The program will ask whether the user wants to play again. If so, the step will be repeated, which means this will be a loop. Here, this loop need to be executed without the finite count, a pre-known count. So, which means, can you use <coughs> for loop? I'll leave it up to you. And uh, apparently, you need to execute this circle at least once, which means, do you need to use while loop or do, do while loop? And uh, here you will have a loop with gen with um, with random generation, and uh, you also need to have the way of calculating the amount of money. And if you also want, and uh, I mean here, you also need to calculate the total amount of the money entered so far. So you are doing a loop and you are doing a running sum. All right, so these are the assignment questions you will have. 